disclaimer. I am not a spokesperson for the USPS, nor do I speak on their behalf. I am a active employee who works as a clerk. I have this channel based on educational purposes only. What is up, Postal Besties? It is your girl, Creole Barbie, with USPS Vlogs. In case it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome. My name is Creole Barbie. What I do here on my channel is I make tons of videos pertaining to USPS. I share my absolute journey and experience while working for the Postal Service. If you want to get more acquainted with me and what type of content that I bring here on my channel, be sure to check out my USPS playlist where you'll get a great deal of insight on my absolute journey at the postal service i'm going to get straight into the video because this is going to be a really great video but it's also a video that i feel like everyone can relate to especially when coming in as a psc when you're under a temporary work assignment or your non-career meaning that you could be let go for any reason so for me when i was a psc the only time i experienced being let go was something that was called due to lack of work being let go due to lack of work happened when i was a holiday clerk and that they no longer needed pscs under the holiday work assignment at the facility because peak season was over and they were going back to their usual routine with their mail volumes so they had brought us back months later once peak season was over but what if individuals who are working at a facility and they are being let go due to lack of work and then the union finds out that they're being let go under pretextual reasons meaning that these reasons that they've been let go is not supporting the matter they're being let go and the management is stating that we're letting these individuals go due to lack of work but when finding out that was not the case and that they actually needed these individuals at this facility union speaks up and this is something that i really want to talk to you guys about i've been actually reading up on this and i really want to share this with you guys right now so i'm going to get more into the article for you guys to understand exactly what it is that i'm saying because this actually happens in charleston which is the west virginia area shout out to everyone who's there and also shout out to the union for actually stepping to the plate and speaking up for these individuals and helping these individuals so right now i'm going to get more into this story for you guys to hear you guys in the comments share your thoughts on how you feel about the situation let's go postal union pursues grievance claims for workers removed from schedule a postal workers union in Kanawha County has entered grievance procedures over the removal of four workers from a Charleston mail processing facility schedule. Four workers at the Charleston Processing and Distribution Center usher in the new month with unexpected letters from their employers sent by facility management May 1st. These letters said that the workers would be removed from lack of work schedule in a matter of days due to the facility needs of the facility. In subsequent correspondence with workers, management said they were required to reduce the number of temporary workers by regional officials with the United States Postal Service, which oversees the Charleston Center. In response, representatives with the Charleston American Postal Workers Union, Local 133, are pursuing grievance claims on behalf of the four workers. As months, long tensions between USPS and local workers continue to flare. Union concerns. Tim Holston, Union Vice President, alleged that the move from management constituted pretextual termination, providing a false reason for removing workers to conceal a reason that violates their contract. Holston said this is especially evident in the fact that current employees are struggling to keep up with demands on the facility. How can you say that you're letting these employees go due to lack of work 
or you don't need them on the schedule when you have all this mail that we're failing of, he asked. All four workers are temporary employees with the USPS, which means they have fewer protections than full-time career employees. They can be dismissed for a lack of work, but a dismissal would violate their contracts if it was done for a pretextual reason. In the grievance proceedings, Holston said union representatives are making the case that the dismissal of the temporary staff was spurred by the broader effort to reduce mailing operations in West Virginia. Ongoing tensions. In late 2023, USPS officials announced they would reduce operations and staff at the Charleston facility, which currently serves as West Virginia's only full USPS mail processing center and handles a significant amount of the state shipping and delivery services. The facility downgrading part of a 10 year plan to streamline USPS operations nationally would move certain mail processing services to facilities in the Pittsburgh area and possibly require some West Virginia staff to relocate. But the decision was met with the swift blowback from workers, community members, and elected officials. Earlier this month, USPS Postmaster General Louis DeJoy announced that he would pause delivery network changes until at least 2025 as concern over the USPS plan gained traction nationwide. DeJoy decision seemingly marked good news for workers, delaying any downsized plan for the Charleston facility. But Holston said the temporary nature of the decision paired with the reduction in work opportunities at the mail processing center has only stirred up more concern on the ground. Holston alleged that management has kept the temporary workers on staff without providing hours or pay so that they were more likely to quit and USPS will not have to provide them severance benefits. They're basically putting these employees off the schedule in efforts and hopes that they were going to say is screw it. I quit. So they're not responsible, he said. Then now they're off the hook. As far as any low earnings or unemployment benefits in a written statement, to West Virginia Public Broadcasting USPS spokesperson Nadia Delay did not respond to these direct claims, but she said that operational flexibility is a key part of the temporary worker position for USPS like all employers who have a flexible employee category there is a higher turnover rate with these employees providing us the opportunity to both capture savings by right sizing our workforce when making long overdue operational changes and avoiding any career layoffs she wrote Grievance proceedings. Union workers are bound to a step-by-step -step grievance procedure established in the union's collective bargaining agreement. The first step in these proceedings require an individual worker to meet with their direct supervisor. Holston said the union has already completed this step of the process to no avail. Local Union representatives must then meet with the USPS officials. If a decision is not reached, the national union representatives must meet with a regional USPS official and comes to a resolution 
or enter a binding arbitration process. Holston said the union's goal is to get the workers their prior shifts back and secure them compensations for the four hours of work they are guaranteed to receive each day through their contract since receiving the letters the workers have not received the pay he said but holston said the grievance process can be enormous with barriers to communicating with usps that can be taxing on staff members undertaking its steps the only thing that's really becoming difficult for us to fight is the complacency of upper level management to not provide the information that shows they're wrong he said still holston said the union plans to push on with this claims it's an uphill battle that we fought for a long time he said it's nothing unusual to us this article was written by Jack Walker. I hope these four individuals get the help that they need because I completely understand how you would feel coming to work, thinking that you have a job and you're able to provide for your family. And then it all can go away within a matter of days, months, or years. I could not even Phantom the idea, especially when you're taking on responsibility roles within your own household or within your own family and you have individuals relying on you financially. That can be very heartbreaking. Do you guys have any comments that you want to add to the article? I'll also share the link to the actual article for you guys to read up for yourself. In the meantime, you guys, again, I am not a USPS spokesperson, nor do I speak on the post office behalf. I am an active employee who is a clerk who has this channel based on educational purposes only. With that being said, I love you guys. Have a great day at work, and I'll see you guys later. Deuces.